welcome to my youtube channel again if you're new here hello and welcome this is victoria they call me coach vicky sometimes because i'm a personal trainer and i'm also a group fitness instructor who is not just that but she enjoys it i love seeing women transform their lives and i like to see everyone happy in their own skin and i love to see people together training and just sweating for one goal so I had started a topic about bullies and I decided that uh, it was a wise idea to pause at eight and um, elaborate a lot more about self-awareness and what personality traits make a person attractive to the bullies. Because if there is no victim, then there won't be the villain, right? So normally the villain gets strength because there is a victim. So, unless you know yourself well, sometimes you might not know the things which you're doing wrong, which attract those bullies. Like for example, there are these people who are very loud and they are very confident and they come across as being rude, maybe because of even their word selection. And this comes across to the bullies as rudeness and this person is just confident or rather overconfident or rather witty so these bullies they're like okay so this one thinks she's the boss you know if you appear rude to them and they perceive this so they get into their hunting mode and they're like ngoja tutamuinyesha and at the end of the day they end up targeting you and you become a target especially if you are physically weak or if you're loud and you're not this person who likes confrontation. Because some people are loud, but they do not like a situation where there is a confrontation or a fight. Ama mikwaruzano. So your character trait can also make you attractive to them. If you're a quiet person and you're humble, sometimes this might come across as timidity. Because maybe you do not even know how to express yourself. Or rather, you are this person who is not really good with wording unless you think. Like for example, if you want to say something, you say it and it comes out awkward. People who are in my situation, sometimes they know this. And people like this, they need um, a little patience. And sometimes the society has got no time for patience. They just decide, ah. Then also there are these people who come vulnerable. Or rather they sell themselves so cheap to the bullies. You tell people information about yourself that you're not comfortable for them to know. And then they take this information and they use it to blackmail you. You become an easy target to the bully because at the end of the day, they will just say, to say me like it too. And you will shrink. And for this reason, they'll keep you in your place. So you become a very, very good victim for the bullies. So you will do their bidding. And you know, bullies, they usually like to protect their territory. They are lions, so they are territorial. So at the end of the day, if they get you as a victim and they have a way of making you do things for them and they can protect their territory, uh, they'll be very happy to use you in any, any, any way and circumstance. So we have got self-awareness. There are four types of selves. There is the open self, there is the hidden self, there is the blind self, there is the unknown self. So, have you ever known somebody in your life who is very quiet? Like they will only say one word and keep quiet. If you tell them, hi, how are you? They will say hi and they'll keep quiet. They will not tell you how they are and they won't bother to ask you how you are yourself. So, this particular person, nobody knows where they stay. Nobody knows their name. Nobody even knows what they like. Ata kamani birthday huyo mtu you would not even know what gift to take them. You don't know their color, the colors they like. You don't know what they like to put on. Like they are they are almost invisible people. And you've always wondered what is wrong with this one? Is this one an introvert? Some of them are really really extreme extroverts, but they they tend to do their things somewhere else. And when they are with a certain group of people, they just recoil back into their shell. And have you met these people, this other second group? 
They talk, they talk, they talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. And then they tell you, you know, I don't like to talk. You're like, what? What just happened? Did you just say you don't like to talk? Kwani, what were you doing the whole time? And there is this third group. This ones, they are these people who say, who not, not say per se, they dress up a certain way. Like you can find their colors are clashing. Mtu wameva yellow, green, purple, and they are comfortable. They are happy. They saw the mirror and they are just happy with the way they saw it. And, and you are looking at this person with all this color combination. And you are wondering, I, Jamani, what is your problem? And this person tells you, I'm absolutely not having any problem. I'm very comfortable with just the way I am dressed. Like, I like these colors. And you know, everybody, almost everybody around them, they are looking at them and they are like, oh my God, this is weird. And they are the people we call weirdos and they call themselves queers. They've decided now doing bad things. Some of them, not all of them. I think this is where the queer group came from. I'm not sure though. I stand to be corrected on this. But we have got those people who dress up very weird and they are very comfortable. So what is an open self? An open self is these things that people know about you and you also know about them. And you are very comfortable at revealing these things to people. Like for example, it is common knowledge Victoria is a trainer. And it's common knowledge, Victoria is a dark-skinned person. It's other people know, God knows, Saturn knows, the world knows. So this is the open self. And then there is this hidden self. The hidden self are the things that only you know, but other people do not know about you. Like your secrets, the things that you never reveal to people, like um, the things you do when you're al alone, eh? you might stand in a corner and you fart. This is a hidden self, okay? Because you did this alone, nobody knows. And you won't go around saying, hey, I just did this around the corner. And there's the blind self. The blind self are the things that people know about you, but you do not know that. You do, know, you do not know these things about yourself. Like, for example, this person who talks, 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 and they say, I don't talk. This is a blind self for them, okay? But for you, you know they talk. But then they don't know they talk. So this is a blind self. There is the unknown self. These are things that you don't know about yourself, and the world does not know about you. And you will only know this unknown self when you are dead, maybe. Things like it and so what happens if your known self is big? Oh my god, you don't have any secrets to keep. Not like a blind self person. You are a celebrity, everybody knows you, they know what you do, they know your wife, they know your children, they know what you eat in the morning, and they are very happy to follow you around. So you're this person who is trending always, all the time. So normally, most celebrities, they bear this character trait. Like their known self is so big. And this is not something you create for yourself. Yes, you could create for yourself because some celebrities are self-made. And others, they are just born celebrities. And others, they just keep trying and they don't become celebrities. And others, they don't do nothing and they are just famous, you know? So, if your known self is big, Everybody knows this is Dr. So and So, this is Beyonce, this is uh, Dr. Maelis Monroe, this is President Uhuru Kenyatta. Your known self is so big and you're, you're really, really eh, prominent and relevant. And even if you're irrelevant to yourself, you could be a very stupid person, you know. You go home, you drink alcohol, you don't even remember your creator, you don't even pray. Sometimes you are even a satanist, you're worshipping the devil. But... Your known self is so big, so it makes you um, pop out. Your star is shining because, because of your known self. So for this kind of people, would I, would I like a big, a big 
nonsense no you won't have any peace as a person i these are just my views i'm not telling you to stop being famous if you're famous oh my god go ahead and shine but for a person like me oh my god i just like my own small space and i like to have a few friends to talk just like i have friends on youtube whom we talk together and we discuss things so can your unknown self be big only if you are not born if you are not born like for example you are conceived in your mother's womb and and then you died and then maybe you died at childbirth maybe they even gave you a name then you your unknown self is very big or if you are aborted or if you came out as a an, as a miscarriage your unknown self is very, quite huge we'll never know you sorry and it's oh very unfortunate so see you on the next video we'll continue on point number nine on the next video so stay tuned thank you for supporting me and please subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe let's learn together